The Zoes are a Haitian-based international criminal enterprise, organization in which started in the streets of Miami, FL. The Zoes are Florida's largest and most dangerous gang with sets all over the state, and the fifth largest black gang in the United States with members all over the country. The Zoes was founded in the mid-1990s in the Little Haiti section of Miami, Florida by a small group of Haitian immigrant youths who were tired of being attacked by mainly African Americans and a small amount of Hispanics. It started as a way for the Haitian youths to protect themselves from African Americans but turned into something much larger. The Zoes is currently one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the East Coast. However the inception of the gang served as a pivotal factor in promoting Haitian pride among South Florida's youth. In fact prior to the introduction of the Zoes into the American fiber, many Haitian American youth denied their heritage in fear of persecution The Zoes are made up of multiple factions with members spread all over the United States and the Caribbean. Zoe squads, such as the Florida-based Zoe Pound, have proliferated in many states primarily along the East Coast in recent years expanding their criminal enterprise. Zoe squads are present in Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, and many more. The Zoes has most recently expanded into the Midwest and have been found in Midwestern cities like Chicago, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan, Indianapolis, Indiana, and many more. Members have also been found in Western cities like Oakland, California and Portland, Oregon. Zoes were also found in most Caribbean islands like Haiti, Jamaica, the Bahamas, Cuba, DR, PR, Trinidad, and Barbados. Because of the 2010 earthquake many Haitians moved to South, Central American nations like Brazil and Belize, and starting new Zoe squads in the area. Zoes are also active in the country of Canada, mostly in the Montreal area which holds thousands of Haitian immigrants. Zoe Pound Zoe Pound is a Haitian drug cartel that started in the 1990s in the Lil Haiti section of Miami. The gang was started for Haitians to make easy money committing criminal acts. Many members says Zoe Pound is a Haitian movement group to help youths who was terrorized by African Americans, Latin Americans, and whites. The gang started growing in members soon outnumbering their rivals. More than 25,000 Zoes were found in South Florida being one of the largest gang in Florida, and with 50,000 nationwide. Zoe Pound has alliances with some of the United States' most notorious gangs like the Crips, Bloods, Gangster Disciples, and the Vice Lords. Zoe Pound controls kilos of drugs through the Port of Miami, the gang even spread through parts of the East Coast and the Midwest. Many members will now be proud of their Zoe membership earlier not showing their gang affiliation, due to the hostility of African American gangs. The gang also uses the black magic called voodoo against many of their rivals, but that has been dropped by newer members. The gang also clicks up with many local street gangs like the Crips and Bloods, and other local gangs. The gang has grown in members since the earthquake in Haiti. More than 100,000 members worldwide, this is because of Haitian refugees who fled to America are picked up by the gang. The gang wars in secrecy making tracing them down hard for law enforcement. The gang is a primarily black Haitian gang but has recruited blacks of different backgrounds. This include of recruiting Africans, Jamaicans, Trinidadians, and Bahamians. The gang is home for many Afro-Caribbean immigrants. Zoe Pounds is one of America's largest, dangerous, and most organized criminal organizations. Zoe Pound has ties with the Yardies of Jamaica, the No Limit, Soldiers of Curacao, and the Marielitos of Cuba to expand their criminal enterprises. Zoe Pound used to have a war with the Yardie posse because of cultural differences. The Zoes would have worn red and blue and the Yardies would have worn green and yellow. The two gangs would have attacked each other on site and started using firearms to settle their disputes. The conflict between the two gangs started ethnic tensions between Haitians and Jamaicans, neither wanting to associate with the other. 
However the Zoes and the Yardies had a common enemy the Yanks, an African-American gang who attacked blacks from the Caribbean, most notably the Haitians and the Jamaicans. The Yanks used to attack Haitians on Haitian Flag Day and Jamaicans on 420. This shared hatred for the Yanks united some Zoe and Yardy gangs to fight against the Yanks. Over time Zoe and Yardy conflicts settled down and the two gangs ended their war. Currently Zoes and Yardies are allies, the Yardies will give Zoes tips about boats coming to the ports in which the Zoes will hijack and give a portion of the products to the Yardies. Zoe Pound also formed an alliance with the No Limit Soldiers, the alliance was formed so the No Limit Soldiers can help Zoe Pound expand their drug trade to South America and Europe in a exchange that Zoe Pound helped the No Limit Soldiers expand in the United States and Canada. In the 1980s, thousands of Haitians and Cubans migrated to the United States to flood corruption plaguing their countries. Unlike most ethnic groups the Cubans didn't show hostility to the Haitians, with some sympathizing with them because Cubans left their country for the same reason the Haitians did and the Cubans were being attacked by Mexican gangs. The Cubans formed a drug cartel known as the Marielitos. The Marielitos needed street soldiers to protect and secure shipments so they decided to hire Zoe Pound who was already known for their deadly reputation, 